If you have to ask why some animals kill their young, you've never been a parent. Hello survivors, Julian here for DNews. Aside from being adorable little bundles of joy, babies serve an important purpose. They're pretty vital to keeping the human race going. Babies are born, they grow up, they make more babies. And yet, there are species that intentionally kill their young and somehow haven't wiped themselves off the earth. Why would they do that? Okay, bear with me, because this is going to sound a bit paradoxical, but some species kill and eat their young because it's good for the survival of the species. And there are actually a couple of ways that could be true. First off, don't forget that raising offspring is expensive, resource-wise. Baby animals are useless. They can't find food on their own, they slow the parents down, and they're liable to walk right into the mouth of a predator because they just don't know any better. So, if a young'un is born when resources are already scarce, some mothers may decide it's just not worth the effort. Or if the little one is sick and the mother thinks it's going to die anyway, she may figure there's no sense letting a little snack go to waste. That appears to be what happened when a sloth bear in captivity in the Smithsonian's National Zoo gave birth to three cubs. She had raised offspring before, so no one thought there would be an issue. Then, all of a sudden, she ate two of them. Zookeepers intervened to rescue the third and discovered it was suffering from hypothermia and an infection, so the hypothesis is the mother knew they were as good as dead anyway. Rather than just abandoning them, she ate them, possibly so the rotting carcasses wouldn't draw predators back to her den. Now, don't go thinking we're above all this either. Researchers analyzed cases of human mothers who killed or abandoned their children the day they're born. The new mothers were typically young, poor, and without a partner. In other words, they were short on resources. And unlike other mothers who kill their children later, these women had no psychopathology or suicidal tendencies after they had done the deed. So the researchers suggested they killed their offspring because of some instinct evolved long ago to save resources and give future offspring a better chance for survival. If mom doesn't get you, you're not necessarily home free. When male lions finally rise to the top of the hierarchy and can start breeding, they're known to kill all the cubs in the pride that aren't their own. By doing this, the females become ready to breed sooner, so the males can father cubs with them and extend their genetic lineage. That's right, the females breed with the guy who killed their baby. Shakespeare's got nothing on nature. Lions aren't the only ones who do this either. Bottlenose dolphin males will separate calves they know aren't their own from their mother and bash them or launch them into the air. Male langur monkeys will also kill offspring, but never their own and never those older than six months. That led researchers to conclude that it's not because they're indiscriminate monkey murderers. They're only killing babies that are still suckling. While they're suckling, their mothers are producing milk, and in these monkeys, milk production inhibits ovulation. So get the kid out of the picture, and the males have potential mates sooner. To counteract this, the females of some species have developed an ingenious strategy. Mate with everyone. Bonobo ape females will sleep around so when a little bebe is born, nobody knows who the father is. Scientists think that's part of the reason bonobos are one of the few great apes that are infanticide free. Pregnant horses will do the same thing. If a female horse is mated with a male from outside her herd and then brought back, she will mate with multiple stallions in her herd to disguise its paternity. And if she can't do that, a mare may actually chemically abort the pregnancy. This shell game of who's your daddy keeps baby bonobos and horses alive. Just hope they don't get smart enough to develop paternity testing. Animals killing their young because it's good for the species sounds like a BS fact, but I swear it's true. For more facts that sound made up but aren't, check out our friends at Did You Know. And don't worry, it won't be as morbid as this episode. Sharks kill about one person a year on average. Oh. While people kill 114 sharks per hour. Damn. We win! Is that winning? So some animals kill their own babies, but which animals don't care about babies and just have sex for fun? We answer that in this video. All right, it's a wild world out there and there's a lot of interesting animal stuff to look into. If you have any questions, go ahead, let us know in the comments. Subscribe for more and I will see you next time on D News.